okay guys welcome back in my first video I show you how configure let's show you where we stop in my last video I show you oh, sorry my bad status all full resources empathy and this also PS status you can see either you can see on a one node and another two node both are same the two node is already added resource are completely empathy okay so now let's start creating our nodes okay uh, creating a resources create a file system resource for apache server this is a nothing but a shared storage coming from the iSCSI server okay now type command psc you don't need to run this command on both nodes you have to run this command on one node only make sure this okay and it will automatically as you, it is a cluster whatever we're typing here everything goes on the second node also okay now run the command pcs resous -E resource mm, SOURC resource create http dfs create resource with pcs resource r e s o u r c e source create httpd and just type the name whatever i want to type the name of this resource i'm typing it fs so that to understanding file system device equal to dev dev mapper was it mm, before i run this command let me check what was the name of our http apache okay SDP hyphen LV underscore SDP make sure this right like this because this is all completely syntax okay I don't want we make any mistake during a syntax otherwise you will get an error directory name is equal to var ww commas and the file system whatever you are going to use as if you saw my previous video in that I show you this fs type ext4 and then hyphen hyphen group a p a c h e apache okay now we can see as to this mm, apache group is add now what we need to do we have to write type a one resource okay R E S U resource create what is the name is this resource name stdpd vip that's vip stand for virtual ip it's you can type anything virtual ip not type stdp it's just a name like we type in the lbm now ip a double d r2 space ip equal to as i show you my in the starting i'm using this ip as a my virtual ip it's 192.168.10.131 okay this is my virtual ip IDER underscore CDER 
and net mask equal to 24 hyphen hyphen group whatever was our group name is APAC actually Apache yeah done successfully done create a Apache resource which will monitor the status of Apache server and move the resource to another node in case of any failure okay this we've done now we are using what is the configuration file okay now run the command pcs r-e-s-o-u-r-c-e -E resource create http d underscore s-e-r this s-e-r stand for service okay let me type it complete s-e-r okay this is s-e-r i'm just typing simple it's uh, s-e-r stand for service okay you can type it whatever you want it's i'm typing this apc he apache okay it's the name of my group i confirm and write i create it in and then the config file type config file file and the etc http config that stdb dot config okay it's automatically come okay now what would be our url you make sure you do not type uh, ip address here you just type this sta tus status status url equal to http 127.0.0.1 slash ser server hyphen u t s status type hyphen hyphen g r o u p group okay then i type is here a p a c h e apache okay as i told you earlier we do we are not using apache uh, that um, fencing okay so so we should by default when we configure up a um, cluster so fencing is on okay so i have to disable it otherwise when we will run the command we will get always a warning it's a p p r o p e r t y priority set n t o n i t h hyphen e n a b l e d enable equal to f flash it's if you want to enable it it's true by default is true we have to run this command so it's would be flash so now pcs status now you can see ip my server's ip is there it's ip and service where is my file system man when we done the command what happened in my file system wait guys i have to check this file system dv sg okay that's why if you remember when i run the command it's a hash actually go here and type it now because i put a hash in the starting that's why my i there was no it did not entry now you can see guys my ip is there server is there and fs is also there okay okay so what is next now run the command this is my site 
then the command 192.16a.10.131 you can see this is my technical website okay and here you can run this command that's you can see pcs cluster c u l u s t e r cluster status okay online node is this right you can see now you have to run the command pcs status so that you can get a complete picture you can see your ip is also node 1 service is also node 1 and this is also node 2, 1 okay how can you check this now uh, you can see i unmount that directory cluster already mount this directory on this server okay and uh, the virtual ip as i show you in my previous video i show you that uh, we have only one ip on this system that 31 ip is on this system now right okay by default so how we test it like my cluster is working properly let's check the failover on the resource node by stopping the cluster on the active node as i show you node 1 is my active node let me disable this okay mm, pcs cluster uh, cluster stop mm, node host name is the pcs cluster stop on node 1 okay mm. is stopping cluster on node 1 it's already stopped on this cluster now you let me check pcs status you can see this cluster is not currently running on this node okay i stop cluster on this node and we will check that PCS cluster status all services come up on node 2 you can see node 1 node 2 your IP is still running successfully because client come never come to know that client always use this IP right so he never come to know if any node come down because if my one node got failed my service automatically move to my another node okay in the in the production we have on not only two nodes we have a, we must have like five maybe ten maybe twenty it's up to the your application right so in the practical i'm using only one cluster two nodes okay so this is the all okay now let's show you some few more commands maybe that will help you in the future okay i want to just start the cluster here also now start is starting cluster starting cluster here pcs nodes okay you can see still hmm, cluster is running on node 2 so we can run a few commands like uh, i want to move cluster i want to move the resources on node 1 what is the command pc pcs res resource res on a top so that you can see clearly pcs res u r res o u r c e resource move what is the name of a power group apache on which node i have to move wait oh, okay a p a c h e apache node one dot technical hyphen tag dot local right now i moved on node two now you can see all services come back to a node one okay now you can disable it you have to run here the command only instead of move you can disable it 
if you want to restart your Apache, for example, sometime it's happened, uh, uh, your users are getting service so website is running very really slow. Yeah, um, you know, your developers put something new in the website, and they said that this uh, changes will be reflect when the service will be restart. So on the cluster, you cannot just uh, restart like so, um, no systemctl or restart httpd. No, you cannot do that because that would be for particular server, right? So if you have uh, maybe 50 servers, 50 nodes, you cannot run that command one by one on all. And even I'm a I'm little you know, scared about that. Maybe it will not run on your cluster actually. Okay, so there is a different command. That's the PCS, R-E-S-O-U-R, -E resource, restart, A-P-A-C-H-E Apache. It's restarting, you can see Apache successfully restart. It's restart all my resources, IP address and everything. Now you can see it's automatically IP address come here and mount point here. Earlier it was on node. Not okay. Uh, let me show you that. Mm, let me type it now. So you can see just www.html is here now, and node 2. There is no www.html that I move it on node 2. Let's move www.html is here now, and IP address is also here now, right? And if you will check. Here is no mount point is not here, and uh, even IP address is not here. Okay, this is all about the Apache cluster, and you you can use this in your production. Okay, thanks for watching my video, guys. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe our channel, Technical Tech. See you in next video.